Hello everybody, it's Kelly. Obviously, since you're watching my video, um, I'm going today to um, take the embellishments we did in another video um, a little bit further. Okay, um, I liked this, but it is a little plain to me. Um, but it's a basic idea anyway, you know. And then we took in the other video we took uh, packaging, uh, cracker packaging actually, and made you know, tags out of them. Let me see. I even had a little, uh, well, this will work for now. I even had a little bitty, <laughs> now it wants to be aggravating. There we go. So you even had a little tuck spot in a pocket on a tag. So it was pretty cool. Pretty fun little video. But I wanted to take this one just a little bit further because it's kind of plain. Kind of on the plain side. So after we did, see here's some more tags. There's a little pocket on a tag. I love that idea is a pocket on a tag, you know, right there. So we'll set that one aside for just a minute. But I love the idea of taking what you have and utilizing it in a whole bunch of different ways. For example, I had some scrap uh, cardstock, and I took an idea from, I believe it was, oh, I don't want to say the name in case I'm wrong, but it was another video. It wasn't mine. It wasn't my idea. Um, and she had done this. And I was talking to my friend online last night, and she had made a suggestion that I thought was a really good idea. So... I'm going to stamp on this, but before I do, I'm going to go ahead and kind of just tear this in half a little bit, and then I will get out my, you know, my ink thing. And just re-ink the edges. I inked it with the wrong one. I did, but that's okay. I'll get this one out. Alrighty. And what I thought was to take um, some stamps and just kind of lightly just stamp over it. And I'm going to get another piece underneath in case there's any, you know, stamp off that we can use for another. Uh, I got this big, huge music stamp at Hobby Lobby long time ago. Oh my gosh. And I'm just going to stamp on it. Okay. Let me set that one aside and I'm going to get now this is Stampin' Up's Early Espresso. Alright. It's a little bit darker than I would normally like. But for this, I'm just going to kind of there and then do a second ghost impression. And I'm going to get another one. Let's see which one do I want. Let's do some script. I've got some French script right here. Nah, I don't want French script. Let's do some curly cues. Yeah, I had gotten these stamps, oh gosh, before I really even got into crafting, to be honest. Um, the reason being was, uh, like this one I got when my daughter was getting married because I made her... Uh, Christmas ornament or tuh, Christmas ornaments, her wedding invitations, and this was a background stamp underneath the vellum that was used. Okay, well, I don't really like that one that much. Too much. Oof. All right, so let's try. Let's 
Okay, let me try a different color. Maybe that's why I'm not liking it too much. All right, let's see. We'll put that one aside. And I will pull out. Yeah, let's just use the vintage photo from Distress Ink. Alright, and then I'm going to just use one little piece of this overall stamp. Oh, I like that. Okay, that's much better. It's not as bold. Yeah, it's much better. Okay, so it's a little bit, a little bit better. And then with that, so that kind of gives those a little bit more. Oof. Okay, I'm going to set the stamps aside for a minute. Oh yeah, that early espresso is really juicy. Look at how many prints, ghost prints I've done on that. Wow. Yeah, that's quite a bit. All right, so we will put that aside for now. All right, and then I'm going to take some of these scraps and leftovers that I've had. And we're going to start working on these. For me, I like the torn thing, so I'm going to tear. I'm also going to ink the edges on these. Oh, wrong side. That was brilliant. Teach me my brain is always like 10 steps ahead of where my mouth is. I get into quite a bit of trouble that way sometimes. You'd think it would be the opposite, but no, not Kelly. All right, those are straight edges. I don't like those. No, you would think if my brain was ahead of time, I would think before I speak. No, my brain has already gone ahead, thought consequences, and kept going. And then sometimes it doesn't come back to let me know, don't say that. Or that's not a good idea. <laughs> yeah, that's me. All right, so there's that one. Let's do a few while we're here. Okay. Now I'm going to tear off the straight edges. Now these are going to kind of be like clusters, but I've noticed the, the when I first started doing clusters, I wasn't really super happy with them. Um, I was just throwing whatever I could, you know, at them. And then, you know, being just... I don't know, it wasn't very symmetrical for me. And I like spontaneity, I really do. And I, I like ordered chaos. I'm not a big chaotic type person. Now if you looked at my craft room, you'd think liar. <laughs> but honest, I'm not real big on chaos. It just, it leaves me feeling anxious. So, and even if, you know, my, my organization areas are uh, a little bit unorganized, there's, there's like a, an order to my chaos that I can interpret. You know what I'm saying? Now, if somebody else came in and did their chaos on my unorganized chaos, then that was redundant, wasn't it? Well, you know. You know how it goes. Now, 
what I like to do is just sit here and just kind of go and just like mass produce a lot of these at once. And then I'll put them in a baggie in my graphics pile. Now I've got this book that I made that originally started out being a greeting card organizer for the month. And I, for me, I turned it into um, a book that I could organize my graphics in. Now remember, if you like the white edge showing up, tear it towards you. If you don't, then tear it away from you. And you won't get that white edge. You see? Okay, I like the white edge. So I'm going to tear a little bit more off of that so I can get that white edge. When I first started out crafting, okay, and I thought, oh my gosh, I can recycle everything. <laughs> okay, now with that mindset, let me tell you, Storage becomes an issue <laughs> when you find you have an under the bed, you know, 70 quart storage thing on wheels that has uh, recycled whatever, um, you know, like packaging. And now I've got it down to where I keep it in a shoebox size. So that's good. Um, yeah, it, it tends to you tend to take that organization thing a little bit too far. Um, let's see. So now I've got some pieces that I can. Uh, let's see. Now I'm going to use a glue stick and a stapler at the same time. Okay. But yeah. And I'm not putting it down you know, like every edge and, and all of that. So let's see, we've got the scrap of paper, some aged, I believe that's um, encyclopedia paper. Let's see, what else can we add? Nope, not that one. Trying to see what else would be. Let's find. Yeah, see, I'm not totally organized yet. But I did just move, so I've got a lot of things, you know, like loose graphics that I can use, you know, you know, like a little typewriter, uh, just little things, if I can find them. Okay, here's some. We got some keys. There's a kite. A little tag. There's a sewing machine. Let's see. I should have probably had all these out, but that's okay. I'll just grab a handful and use what we find. Oh, I don't know what that is. Okay. Well, obviously, some of this is not going to work. That won't match. I've got some little pieces. So, all right. So, so far. Oh, there's a, a stamp. John F. Kennedy. Look at that. I'll use him. No, I won't use him. Not right now. Alrighty. I'm going to ink the edge of this and then I'm going to age it a little bit because it's a little bit too pink for me. 
And if you've watched any of my other videos, you will know I'm not a big pink person. So I will tone this down. right here kind of off center just a little bit and then I'm going to take let me see I had a piece of lace here here we go okay it's a little bit white for me so I'm just going to take my and just kind of run that over it and dull that down a little bit right over top and this is where I'm going to use my stapler right along the edge and let me see what am I going to put down on the flat edge buttons that's a good thing I'll be right back Okay, so I got my buttons and I decided I was going to go ahead and work on some words. And all I did was I used Notepad, printed out a bunch of words, and then just ran my uh, distress thing over it. Okay, so I got I got four done. And we got one, two, three, four, five. So I need one more. All right. And unless you know you want them to be symmetrical, they do not have to be identical. In fact kind of being identical makes them a little boring. So, alright, so there's five. I'm going to move these out of the way. Okay, I'm going to pull these five back. Uh-oh, there were six. <laughs> Boy, I can't count. Either that or they're really good at hiding. Let me do this. There. I cut out a bunch. Well, not a bunch, but you know. Oops, that was kind of lopsided. There. Let's try it again. <laughs> Good thing I cut out a couple more, right? I forgot about the one we already started. Alright. See, it doesn't take much at all. So, let's see which word do we want to use. Go awesome. Set that one aside. Grab a button. Hmm. Let's cut that. Well, no, I want that side cut a little bit. Or do I? Yeah, let's cut the other side. Okay, and then we'll ink the edges. And you can take as long as you want. Do as many as you want. You can do them 
specific to each art project you're using. And there are a lot of embellishment videos out there. There really are. And some of them, I'm using my glue gun for the buttons. Some of them are really, really good. Some of them are repetitive, which is fine too. Like me, mine are probably repetitive. I try not to be. I try to come up with some new stuff. And usually if I see something new online, I will uh, share if I feel like, you know, it's something that I can stringies, glue stringies. All right, so that's something that's a little bit, you know, smaller. Uh, I'm not really, I don't like that word. No, that's okay. I don't like the way that word came out. So I'm just going to tear it off. There we go. All right, but it's a little plain for me, so I'm going to add something else. I don't know what. Let's see. How about a shiny button? I'd have to cut the tips off. Mm, okay, and I don't have my thing here, so... Let's do a really pretty blue. That gives it a little bit of oomph. And there we go. Plain, simple, easy. Right, I'm just going to put that one in there. Now let's do another one. Let's try something different. All right. Let's see. This is a, I believe I got this out of a, a miscellaneous ephemera pack. Nope, that's too big. But it doesn't have to be. That was easy. I'll put that off to the side. if we can't ink the edges on this one. Oh yeah, it's not too hard. Even with the squiggly lines. sometimes can be challenging. And there we go. Okay, so let's try... Actually, I want a piece of lace underneath it. So we'll kind of cut it here. I'm leaving that in a loop. If you can see that. Let's 
find a key. I know I've got a smaller key here. That's a key hole. And it's a little big. It's hoping to have a smaller one. And I don't see a smaller one. I thought I pulled out two. Oh, there it is. And we'll go across the top. Mm, maybe a button. Another one. It's a little bit plain. That's my thing. I, for some reason, they just look plain to me. Well, let's see. What's this? Okay, see if it doesn't make sense to me, a typewriter with leaves. Where'd that, there's the sewing machine. I think I'll use the sewing machine instead. I like that better with the lace. Oh, that's perfect. That last little scrap fit that perfectly. There we go. Alrighty. Let's see this little bitty pink flower. Okay. Let's see. Let me trim this guy a little bit. across the top of that. I like that. <clears throat> what else do we want? See, now that's kind of pretty. I like that. But I don't have my do I? No, I do not. Well, let me see. I don't know if this will work. But let's see if it will or won't. No, that's not going to work. I'll cut my finger off. Okay, let me get my clippers and I'll be right back. Okay. So I'm just going to cut this back off. There we go. And put that right across the top. It's an old vintage button with the little gems popped out that came out. I'm wondering if I have any that might fit in there and I can replace them. Now whether I do or don't, that's a whole other story, but we will see. Alright. Is that the one? No. This I believe is the one. Uh oh. I just dropped one on the floor. Now I don't know if this will work, but we will see. Pardon me. Alright. 
So here's the itty bitty ones. Let's see if those will fit in those little holes. And they do. Look at that. That is fabulous. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's two. Three. Four. Nope, those are too big. There we go. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Is that right? Nope, that's a little too big. There's another one. Okay. Two, four, six. Two, four, six. There we go. <sighs> uh oh. How do, when you're pushing them off the side, how the heck do they manage to still get under the edge of the glass? I don't get it. Yeah, for time's sake, I would probably just set them off to the side, but for time's sake, all morning I've been setting things off to the side, and I'm running out of room. So I'm going to have to take a minute to just put this excess stuff away. So it doesn't get any worse than it already is. All right, now... I don't want to use hot, well, I can use hot glue because it's not metal, it's plastic. But I need my picker. Where's my picker? Ugh. It's a lot easier if I can turn them all right side up. I said this was just a, a button that was a piece of costume jewelry. You know, part of a costume. There we go. Okay. Two, four, six, and I'm missing one now. Are you kidding me? We really are. Holy moly. Today is just not my day. I'm pull them all back out again just to find an itty bitty one. And pray that'll work. Okay. <sighs> All right. Where's my picker? Just put a little dot of glue. I see a little dot. I will tell you though, these little gem pickers are um, really handy. Okay, that one just went in all kinds of womper jawed. This one's called a pick me up, and I it's from Silhouette. I remember when I went looking for one of these myself, I didn't know what they were called. You know, so I was putting in things like you know. Uh, gem pick me upper and uh, stick with a sticky end and <laughs> stuff like that. And 
And there we go. Look how easy that was. Well, not easy, easy, but easy. You know what I mean. Minus the glue strings. But that's okay. But check that out. And I want to put one right at the bottom. But I want to put a button. I don't want to put a... Just to kind of balance it some. Ouch! Okay, balance it, not kill the artist. And there's that one. So. Just a different way to make clusters, I guess. Okay, I know I'm missing one, right? Did I already do four? No, I only did three. That's what I thought. And that's right, I had three. All right, so let's put this up. Don't need that right now. Okay, this one's got a banner on it. Let's, not the right colors. So let's see if we can tone this down a little bit. it took that crisp off of it and gave it more of an aged look okay set that aside we'll put that on here actually we'll hang it off the edge a little bit all right what else do we want to put on this no, not that. No, we could probably do a butterfly. Do some paper. Ugh, where'd my glue go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay. what it looks like in the camera. Ah, it's not bad. Let's throw that on there. Just for poops and giggles. Like I said, I don't quite know. There we go. Um, that's a really cute pink one. going to set right there just to give it a pop of color see how easy that was just pop 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 okay and there's a couple more I want to do but there's something else I want to do with them so let's try da, 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 da. Okay, so we've got a piece of fabric here. It's really old. I mean, the backing on it that was sewn to it um, has deteriorated enough where it's almost like um, tissue paper. See how easy that's just tearing? And that was fabric. So, but we're going to take this and we're going to put a piece right there. I like it. And then, let me see. I'm going to take a piece of this. Ah, paint the edges.
throw that right on top. Okay, I'm going to take this down just a little bit. See, one of the things I have the hardest time when it comes to um, some mixed medias is even though, okay, mixed media is all about the layers, right? There's got to be a point where, you know, why put it on there if you're not going to see it? And that's my biggest dilemma when it comes to layering, because I want to be able to see a little bit of every layer. And if I can't do that, then to me, it's a waste. And my brain doesn't want to, um, I'll check that out, that little bitty bow. But it's too dark, or it's too white. So let's see what I can do about making it look a little bit more. I see. Okay. A little bit more dirty. So it's just not as crisp. Just kind of dull that down just a little bit. See the difference? And I'm going to put that right there. Ouch! Okay, let's not do that again, Skippy. <sighs> okay. Now I think on this one I am going to put a word. I like the word friendship. So let's trim that. Let's ink the edges. Alrighty. I'm going to put it this way, just like that. Yeah, I could use my glue stick, but my glue gun's a little bit faster. I burn the crap out of myself all the time. Now see, <clears throat> even though you can't see much of it, you can still see some of that underlying layer. You can still see this one. You can see this layer. This is one, two, three, four, five layers. And you can see all five layers. That to me is what is... Um, You know what's important. I like the layers. I can't help it. Now this is a cool looking button. This is like oblong and curved. So let's use this one. And we'll put it right off the side. And there we go. There is another. Right. So there are different ways that you can do your do your embellishments. You can work them up any which way you want. Um, this one, I think I'm going to use the other side. Will it let me tear? No, it won't. I like that rough edge. Okay, let's try this. I said I just want to be able to see all, all the layers. That's all. And if I can figure out a way to do that, then I am extremely happy. Now I have a lot more of this, you know, uh, paraphernalia. Let me see. That'll go there. Do I want it? Yeah. Let's go. Okay, like that. Let me see. Okay, I don't want to look in that one. Let's look in this one. Let's 
see if there's anything in here we can use. Let's see, I have a scallop punch out of some paper. I'll probably do that. No, I don't like that that much. Okay. Okay, here's some really pretty napkin. I like the colors on this. So, let's see. Just tear it apart. Get the layer off. It's too uniform almost for me, but not enough chaos, but maybe too much. I don't know. We'll put the key right there. Let's see, what else can we put in here? Here, let's put this behind it. There we go. Put this right on top. And then we will find the easy beauty button if we can. You see, I like that one. So, where's my clippers? There they are. This is the one I was going to use earlier. I believe the backing on this is metal, though, so I don't know how well I'll be able to. Nope, I can't get that one right now. Don't have the strength in me bones. Let's see, here's a really pretty pink one. I like this. It's kind of like a mother of pearl pink. Can you see that? It's really faded. Oh my gosh, glue string still. I'm going to put that right. Whoops. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, that didn't work. I wonder if you can buy glue sticks that don't do glue strings as much. I wonder if they have those. You know what I mean? How maybe some glue sticks work better than others? I don't know. Tis a thought. Would be cool if they had something like that. Maybe if they came up with something like that. Okay, there's that. That's still a little plain for me. So let's see what else we want to do to it. Um, I've got some pink lace here. Is that too pink? No, I don't think so. So let's cut a piece. Just a small piece. I am going to just run this over it just slightly. There we go. And put this right under the edge of that. I think that will do nicely. All right, maybe something else, maybe one more little button. Right there. And there we go. Now we can see all the layers. We've got one, then the napkin two, the cloth three, the paper four, that one five, six for the keys, seven for the buttons, and then there's a layer of lace. Let's see. We could probably put a word on there. Uh, how about breathe? I like that word. I have a hard time doing that sometimes. I used to let things just flow right over me and not even bat an eye. And now sometimes I have to just sit there and say, okay, breathe. And 
There we go. I kind of like that now. And there we are. So let's see. Well, it's getting to be about that time where the sun is going to play havoc on my light. So on that note, I'm going to go ahead and go. And I hope this video was informative. I hope it helps you expand your imagination, not your consciousness. Because, you know, gosh, who would want to do that, right? Ish. I'm just kidding. Um... And I've got one more here to do. Uh, let me see. No, not those. Ow, ow, ow. All right, let's finish up this one really quick, and then I will go ahead and let you guys go, because this will... I wonder if we can put that open. now. Nah, I don't like that. Uh, let's see. Put that away. Okay, we have another one of these. Oops, ink the edges. Oh, there was another thing I was going to show you, and I'm glad I guess I'm doing this last one. All right, so even though... Uh, let's see, what else do we want to do? Let's put the rest of this napkin on here, too. All right, what else? Some words. Uh, let's see, anything else? A piece of lace, maybe? And if we do, let's put the lace on the bottom. Okay, so, so far that is five layers. Okay, let's pull that napkin up a little bit. Let's see, is there anything else we can put in here? Yes, I'm going to throw some of that in there. So, let's put one staple in there. I'm going to pull out this. this stuff. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so let's, there we go. Let's cut a piece. And with this one, we're going to go ahead and use the glue gun because I don't want to put that many staples in it. Let's lay it where we want, and then we will drop dot the glue underneath the edges. So, let's see. That one. And then the bottom. And that one. Um, Then we're going to go ahead and take this, flip it over, and I'm going to put a piece of lace across the back. Now, 
if you don't have one of these little spatulas, I've seen a lot of people have them for their glue guns and I look forever and they're called Santa's helpers and blah, blah, blah. Let me tell you something. I went to the Dollar Tree and got a two pack of these for a buck. They're from Farberware. Yeah, same thing. Silicone spatulas and I got them for a buck. All right, so there's that one. Okay, so I'm going to let you go. I'm going to put my little embellishments in there. And hopefully I will see you very, very soon. I want everybody to have a great day. And remember always to find the humor in life because if not, life sucks. And God bless. Hope to see you soon. Bye.